Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming and we are starting our sandbox uh, Argos exploration prospect. Um, so this is uh, the reason we call it a sandbox in case you're not familiar with the game is this is a 30 day um, prospect and basically we can do whatever we want during this 30 days and I wanted to spend this time um, just familiarizing myself more with the game leveling up uh, playing around with the building and all the other cool things that it has to offer so um, whether or not we actually spend 30 real-time days here doing this prospect remains to be seen we might and we might not <clears throat> but uh, we're gonna start by by just enjoying the game a little bit and not being under necessarily the time constraint of you know having to complete a, a mission or a specific mission but we will definitely you know get back into that later on so really the first order of business is to decide where where we actually want to build the base and I mean I'm not familiar enough with the map to know if one place is cooler than another <clears throat> um, so I mean as far as I'm concerned we could build right here um, kind of in the I guess the the middle area of them of Argos itself and next to the pod not that that really matters a whole lot I guess um, so what I want to do, though, what, what I'd like to accomplish in today's episode is figure out where we're going to build uh, actual, our actual build site. And so one, one thing that is kind of good, I guess, about this particular location is that it seems to be somewhat central because, you know, that's where the, the pod dropped us down. Um, well, at least I'm assuming that's the case. And, you know, I don't know if there are certain resources um at at other you know at certain places on the map or if everything's kind of just everywhere uh so i'm not really sure about that but um i you know it might be kind of cool this is like an island right it might be kind of cool to to build a base on this uh island here let's uh here let me look at the map again yeah so it it is an island so that would be that would be neat i think Let's uh let's go onto the island and just kind of take a look at it and see you know <clears throat> how flat it is, how much space there actually is, that sort of thing. Um, oh, you know what? There was a wolf over here. We need to be careful. There's a piranha after me too. Uh, I don't have any weapons or anything yet. Um, let's let's actually <laughs> let's actually get. Oh shit! The wolf's right there. Son of a bitch. Um. Let's get uh, some basic weapons and stuff going here before we do anything else. Um, one, I guess, kind of disadvantage to this specific lo this specific location is it's not anywhere near uh, ore and stuff like that. Hey, we're a way Wayfarer too. We've traveled 25 kilometers total. Look at that. So, you know, any mining and stuff that we do, we'd have to, to haul all the ore back home. But, you know, that's not that big of a deal, I guess. Or maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's a big deal or not. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> let's go to crafting here. And uh, we want to make ourselves uh, start, you know, start with the stone picks and then do the axe and stuff. It looks like we need to pick up a couple of more pieces of stone. Um, can I make a wood spear? Yeah, let's at least just make that in case that wolf comes after us. And let's make the regular bow. We have the ability now to make the long bow, but we need a crafting station for that. And let's just craft a few arrows. So at least we're armed. And maybe uh, some of these two. Some bandages, and let's also do the torch. Uh, oh, I guess we can't cue that quite yet. Okay. And maybe we'll do grab some oxide too. All right. So, yeah, the thing is, is that I want to, I, I like the idea of, you know, living on, on this island. And I don't know that we would completely clear cut it if we do. I mean, I don't care about all the, you know, the underbrush and stuff like that. We can... Definitely clear all that stuff out of the way. But I'd kind of like to leave a few trees in place. Of course, I guess 
From what I understand, uh, uh, you know, we get a we get a big a, big massive windstorm in, and the trees could get knocked down anyways, or they could get struck by lightning and burned down. So, uh, it might be an exercise in futility to try and preserve the trees. <clears throat> I don't know if there's any way in this game you can replant trees. That'd be kind of cool if there was, but it might end up being a situation where we. Uh, you know, we try and preserve the trees, but then in the long run, they, they all get knocked over anyway or burned down or whatever. In which case, there's not much we can do about that. But uh, e even so, you know, I, I do... The idea of, of living here on the island does kind of appeal to me. Unless there's, you know, better islands elsewhere. And I don't know that. I suppose what I could do is go into outpost mode and just spend a little bit of time exploring the map and looking for the ideal build location. But I don't know. I don't know if I actually want to do that or not, though. Okay. Here's a big oxite rock. Uh, let's make one of these and one of these oh, we're gonna need some more stone uh, I'm gonna move this to the zero slot <coughs> so yeah I don't know let's let's just build here what the hell let's just do it it's a nice location I like the idea of building on on an island and um, Let's just do it because I, I don't I'm not honestly I'm not really in the mood to spend a, a bunch of time trying to look around for a place at this point. I want to just get something going. So Kind of a tough son of a bitch, wasn't he? Uh, oh, looks like we have a level five wolf. Okay, and then I think there's another one too, but let's take a bandage real quick. Oh, I keep forgetting the bandages don't actually heal us. That just... Gives us, <clears throat> um, keeps us from bleeding. Okay, wasn't there a third wolf over here? Uh, I don't know. Let's harvest these guys, though. Uh, we are going to need to make a stone kniffy. So let's start with that. And then we'll upgrade it to a bone knife as soon as we get enough bones. So let's swap these two guys here. Okay. Hold to skin. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this place. And if I find out later on there was a better place, well, at least we'll know for next time. If there is a next time. Maybe there will be. Maybe there won't be. Who knows? Let's just have fun and not worry too much about it. <clears throat> okay. So, um, now that we have established that, I guess the question is where on this island do we actually want to put the base? It's, um, it's not perfectly flat. It seems to be a little more flat in this area here. Stealth attack on the deer. So I'm thinking we probably will live at either this end or the other end, but I think the other end has a big boulder there. Let's go look at the other end. Yeah, see, there's this big boulder here, which is probably not harvestable. And even if it was harvestable, that would take a long time. Sucks to be you, man. Getting stuck in a crack there.
Oh, item is broken. Okay. So, I like the, I do kind of like the view out over the water here, though, and we're up a little kind of high, too. If I really wanted to, could I get rid of this? No, it's not harvestable. Okay, I kind of figured that was probably the case. <clears throat> I suppose one thing we could do is, is build on this flat area and build out over the water. That's a possibility, now that I think about it. Hiker 2, travel 25 kilometers total in the forest. Um, the other thing, too, is um, if we build into the trees, especially while we're still just using wood and stuff, you know, the trees could fall on the house and damage it. The trees could, this whole little forest could potentially catch on fire and burn our house down. So, yeah, you know what? The more I think about those things, the more I'm thinking... This might be the spot right here. Okay. I think it is. Okay, so we've made up our mind. This is the spot. So because this is the spot, um, we are going to have to set up kind of like a temporary camp, and we don't want to set the temporary camp up right where we're going to build. And, of course, these boulders and stuff will have to go. So why don't we make our temporary camp over on the other side of the boulder here. And we could use, we get that sulfur there for our standing torches. And we could use this boulder, I guess, as our storm shelter. Let's pick all this stuff here. Um, or maybe this boulder. Either one of them will probably work. This one's a little higher. Yeah, all right, let's go, let's use this one here. Uh, so we might as well just carve it out right now so it's ready to go when the time comes. Okay, this should be adequate uh, storm shelter here. And if it isn't, we'll carve it out some more later when we need to. All right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll set up a real basic shelter here on this side. Um, and I'd like to use a wood for that, so let's go into crafting and structures. So we learned the wood beam and the wood floor. So we can start with that, but of course we need some wood. Now, I'm not necessarily wanting to cut down the forest on my island. So we might do our lumberjacking in a different location. Of course, on the other hand, you know, once we get the house built, all of our scenery and everything we're going to enjoy is going to be out that way. We won't really see what's going on behind us. So maybe maybe we could just harvest our island and then later on we could maybe build a big farm out here or something. Mm, I don't know. No, no. Not sure what to think about that. I wish I knew if we could regrow trees. That's what I would like to really know. I'll tell you what. Why don't we Why don't we thin this forest, but we won't comp cut every single tree down. We'll we'll clear out all the underbrush. Which, I need to actually make a sickle for that, so we'd get more material, I think. And we'll cut some of the trees down, but not all of them. So we'll just thin it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so now that we've decided that, let's go to um, uh, crafting. And we want to make a stone axe for now. Okay. And let's start getting some wood. And we'll get the our initial shelter built here.
I just really love the fact that we can harvest the entire tree. <laughs> That's just awesome. That's just awesome, man. Okay, so uh, we're just going to set up our little shelter right at the base of, of this rock on this side for now. Uh, so we want to make four wood beams. Let's craft those first, and then we'll make the wood floor after that. So just queue one of those up. Okay, we'll put that in six and this in seven. And we're not going to really be able to do much more until we can uh, make the wall. Well, you know what we could do, actually? We could make thatch walls and then upgrade them. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so let's put this uh, wood beam here. Is there a way to... Oh, cool. So you can make these vertical. Oh, neat. Okay. Uh, this doesn't look like there's a... Oh, wait a minute. Doesn't look like there's a way to change the height of these. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just put them where they want to go. I really like that they automatically snap, you know, like that. Uh, there we go. Okay, we got that done. And then this should just go right on top like that. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> what? We might actually want to do, um, let's, let's make this, let's make this a two by two. Because, um, we're actually going to live in, in this for a little while and it needs to be large enough to get the job done. Okay. So, uh, how does it, how do we get this to snap? Uh, oh, there we go. And I really like about this game how it clears, you know, the, the foliage out of the way, too. That is just amazing. Just the coolest thing ever. Okay, so I'm not sure how I got that other one to snap. I was just kind of moving around. Reset focus grid end. What does that do? Oh, I don't know. Didn't do anything when I pressed it, but it should... Snaps somewhere around here, I would think. Um, I wonder if the boulder or something is interfering with it. Well, what we might be able to do instead... Oh, it... There it goes. It just snapped there. Yeah, that's really weird. You just have to kind of finagle it, I guess, to get it to work. Okay, we got some weather coming in. Um, rotate is R. There we go. Okay. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to just keep cutting a few more trees down here until we can... Oh, how much wood do I have? Oh, actually, I got more wood than I thought I did. Okay, so we're going to need three more pillars. So one there, one there, and one here. Okay, saying our water is low, so let's go ahead and get a drink. Uh, we're gonna have oh, we're gonna need O2 and food too. So let's uh, let's get this oxide stone here, and we'll make a little campfire. We might have to wait until after the rain though. Oxygen is low. Go to here and throw that in there. Okay. Um, we could eat some berries. That gives us something to eat. Let's get the rest of that. Okay. And stick it in here. And that takes care of our O2 situation. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not too worried about this storm. We'll just pop into our little carved out shelter there when the time uh, when we get to the point where we're in pretty rough shape. Okay, so let's put this here 
And we have enough wood to make another one? Yes, we do. Now, I do know that we want to get this wood upgraded to stone soon because it's vulnerable to the weather and to fire and all that sort of thing. Um, but, I don't know, we might not upgrade this one at all because this is just our our starter house. And I'm going to see if I can... I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away with a 4x4, actually, with all the equipment that we're going to have to put in. We might need to make it a 3... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, a 2x2. Two two. We might need to make it a 3x3. Three three. Why don't we just do that? Let's just get her done. All right, hopefully that'll snap. Um, looks like it's going to clip in the rock a little bit there. Oh. Is that how you do that? You, you touch it on the thing and then... Oh, okay. It looks like maybe that's how you do that, yeah. Okay. I wonder if we could get away with a 2x3. Tell you what, let's start with a 2x3. And, you know, if it's not enough room, we'll just expand it. Okay, so let's make a couple of floors. Put that in and that in. All right. We'll try this. I, I still think it's probably going to be a bit tight, but we'll start with it and just see how it does. All right, we need to get into our shelter, so let's go run into there real quick. Yeah, and we'll just wait for this storm to finish. It's almost over anyway. Next thing we're going to do is, is create a campfire. Well, actually, maybe we should just make the stone hearth right off the bat. What do we need for that? Crafting. Because we can put that on our wood floor. Uh, yeah, we're just going to need a bunch of stone. So I think I'm going to just make that straight up. We might as well. Uh, but then we're going to need to get it covered as soon as possible. Okay. I don't think we need to worry about the storm anymore, even if it damages us just a little bit, because it's just about ready to go away. Okay, let's grab some stone. We need 100 stone to make the hearth. I'm going to put the stone down here so I can see when I get 100. Okay, we have 100 stone. Our food is low. Let's just eat all of those berries so we have something in our stomach. And the door's going to be just right here in the center. And so we'll just put the hearth uh, right on the inside by the door. So let's uh, go ahead and make that now. Or f I guess it's not a hearth. That's a fire pit. But you guys know what I mean. Um, Are you crafting? Oh, yeah. It's crafting. Okay. Put this down here. And... Actually, I guess I want it in the cor in this corner. Can't tell how straight it is. That looks reasonably straight. Don't know how far it's sticking out the back, so let's pull it in about here and maybe right there. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a start. Okay, let's put some uh, wood in here and start it up. And then I'm going to put the meat in there. And it sure gets dark fast, doesn't it? Let's catch a couple of fish. Did I, did I get that arrow back? I'm not sure if I did or not. There's a rabbit, too. Okay, so we get two pieces of fish out of that deal. And let's eat this meat. All right, that gets us in a little bit better shape food-wise. There's another fish there. Uh, 
there's my arrow there. Okay. Raw fish, raw meat. Okay. Um, good. So, I think what we want to do now is... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be big enough, you guys. Well, you know what we might be able to do is make, maybe make it two floors. I just, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this building because this isn't our main building. This is just something to get us started. Is the thing. Okay, I'm going to cut some more wood. Actually, you know, can I make a sickle? Uh, I can. I just need to cut some more wood. Okay, so let's cut this tree. Okay, let's go ahead and make some walls. Uh, no, actually, we can't make walls, can we? Not until we get to the next level, which we're getting pretty close. So I guess what makes the most sense for me to do right now, guys, is just to harvest a bunch of wood, make some wood piles, and probably some stone, too until we hit that next level and then once we hit the next level we'll be able to uh, you know make the walls and stuff uh, I also need to get a bedroll going right away uh, or as soon as possible but I don't think I have enough fur for that yeah we need more fur so we're gonna have to do some hunting uh, in the morning so I'm just gonna work overnight and I'll bring you guys back in the morning and we will uh, go do a little bit of hunting and keep working on the base so I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, it is a morning, uh, just a little after 8 o'clock. It's still pretty dark here on the island, but I thought I'd bring you back and uh, we'd continue on. So overnight, I cut some wood um, and made a few wood piles here. As you can see, they're not very straight because I was just setting them down in the dark. I uh, also have one stone pile, too. And, um, you know, I'm going to continue thinning out our our forest in our backyard not cutting every tree down of course but uh just uh thinning it out and getting some of the wood out of here uh but uh what we're going to do now is we're going to take our next points because you as you can see i leveled up again and we're going to um you know get some wood walls and ceilings and that sort of thing in place and finish up this shelter okay so let's go to our talents first of all and let's go back to the solo talents I'm going to, what's this? Gives three blueprint points. Oh, so we can, how many times can we use that? Looks like we can only use it every now and then, huh? Okay. Um, well, what the hell? Let's just use it right now. Okay, so now we have six blueprint points. Uh, we want to go back to tier one and look at the wood stuff. Okay, so we want a wood wall. We're going to want a wood door. And let's see, wood floor trap door. I think we're going to want that. Yeah, so we have three points left. Uh, wood wall angled, I think. And wood roof ramp. Wood half pitches, wood stairs, wood roof corner, wood half pieces. We only have one point left. So I think what I want to do with that final point is I want to go back to tier one. And, oh, we're still on tier one, actually. I want to go back here and get this medium wood crate. There we go. Okay. Uh, I made a couple of the small crates, but as you can see, there's not a whole lot of storage space in those. Very good. All right. Uh, as you can see, too, I did decide to go with a three by three. So basic square uh, house to get us started here okay so let's grab um, some wood here and we're gonna start putting in our walls let's start with our doorway first um, so let's go to crafting and we want to make we're actually gonna well let's see we're gonna want to make 12 of these so, uh, what's the max that we can make? Okay, let's just make the max. And then we'll make a few more from those other wood piles. 
Now we're getting a little bit of light coming up over the mountain there. Okay, let's put the walls here. All right, now the first one we want to do in the center here is a doorway. So we're going to hold down R and select doorway. Here we go. And then um, we're going to do a window here. And a window here. And there's not really any point in putting windows in behind there. So I think the rest of these are going to be just solid walls. Very good. And then we just need four more. So let's pick up this pile of wood and make four more of these. I will uh, make a little stairwell there, but uh, I don't think we... Did we learn them? No, we, we'll just use a ramp for now, and then we can change to a stairwell later. Okay, and then that'll be a wall. That'll be a wall. That'll be a wall, and that'll be a wall. Excellent. Okay, so we got that part done. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the roof. So let's grab another pile of this. And the first thing we're going to do is make ourselves a wood roof ramp. And we're going to put that right here. Like so. And again, <clears throat> probably change those to stairs later. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, okay, so now we're going to want three, six. I think we're, we're going to want six of these. Uh, but we're also going to need the angled. So let's start with four of these. We'll put those there. Okay, and then I think we're going to want six of these. And we're going to have to pick up the next pile of wood here. Oh, for goodness sakes, stupid weather. All right. Um, so, yeah, six of those. Crap those up. Okay, and then uh, we will go uh, with nine. And that. Guess we meet want that to go there. <clears throat> and this to go here. Do I have wood wall angled? Okay. So how do I get this to rotate deconstruct variance? Oh right, yeah, this way. Okay. So what do I currently have? I have just wood wall angled. So how do I know wood wall angled angle right? I think that's the one I want. Yeah, okay. There we go. Alright, so that gets that in place. Now, let's put these in place. Excellent. All right, now we're going to need uh, two more normal walls to fill those eaves, which I actually might make into windows. Uh, variance and window there and a window here. Okay. And then, do uh, do we have a roof cap option with this? We need three. Oh, we're going to be out of wood, aren't we? All right, well, let's make one. And then... Okay, we got the peak option, but we're going to need... Oh, I'll bet you, it, it, I'll bet you it's these here. Okay, well, we seem to be protected from the storm in here. 
overflow bag. How did that... Oh, did that get ruined because it was by the window? Yeah, look at that. Uh, well, maybe not because it was by the window. Maybe it just took damage from being out. Because this only has 20% durability left. So I guess you definitely don't want to make these uh, and put them outside. Now, we need to get a hammer made. Uh, so I need some sticks, which we can get out of here. Oh, hold on a sec. Let's grab the whole stack of those. Wood repair hammer. Let's craft that. And then let's fix this. Okay. Yeah, this was the first one I put down, so apparently it just took a little more damage. Uh, but we seem to be good right now. This storm is not currently damaging our building. Just taking a look and see where we're at with everything. So it's just a kind of a chill storm. Okay. All right, well, um, I need to go cut a little bit more wood just to finish out our roof. And um, I think we could probably go out into this storm and not worry too much about it. Looks like it's getting ready to subside. I gotta eat, too. I uh, got some fish in here. Let's consume that. Okay. Yeah, we need more food. Uh, maybe we should try and do a little bit of fishing for the moment. Kill these bastards. Poison piranhas. Fish killer. Kill ten fish. That's me, man. I'm a fish killer. So we, we got a double stack of their little poisons, but it's not going to be significant. I'm not worried about it. Okay, let's just swim around and uh, see if we can find some more fish. No, you don't. Give me that. And then where was that bigger fish at? Can we uh, use our bow underwater? Oh, we can. Nice. Did you bite me? You little peckerhead. He did bite me. I'll bite you back and then eat you. All right, let's um, let's do this. Okay, there's a fish, big fish. Let's grab the arrow back. It looks like there might be... No, 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 no. There might be a uh, critter on the shore. Okay. Did we get the arrow back? I think so. see where the arrow went. Okay, that should uh, help us out for a bit. Are there any berry plants on my island here? Poison's a pain in the ass, man. Uh, not seeing any. Okay. Well, you know what? Let, that's fine. Let's just eat fish for now. We won't have a balanced diet, but we'll eventually get there. Okay, so we got a nice little pile of fish. Get that cooked up. We have a little meat here uh, left, so let's eat that. And then <clears throat> I'm just going to put some of this fiber in here. I probably don't even really need to be hanging on to all of it, but we'll hang on to it for the moment anyway. Okay, let's go cut a few more trees so we can get our roof finished. So let's take out this tree here. All right, let's see if we have enough to do this. 
so we need one more peak piece. All right. And then uh, let's go to R and change this to roof peak. And then I think the slanted piece is what will give us the the roof peak. But let's just make one and confirm that first. So if we go to R, yeah, this is what we're looking for here, roof peak. Okay, let's rotate it this way. Um, why aren't you rotating? Come on, don't be doing this shit to me. Get up, get, get up there. <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay, now rotate R. Why doesn't it rotate? It raises, but it doesn't rotate. Uh, I'm confused. Reset focus grid end. I don't even know what that does. Why won't that damn thing rotate? And what is this? That's probably a piece that we're not able to use. So this is not rotating, it's raising it. I don't understand. Okay. Um. Does it have something to do with not being up high enough? It doesn't make sense, though. All right. Let's do this. Let's go... Uh, let's go here and change this back to ramp roof. Oh. Did we make this a ramp or a roof? How... How do I... Stop trying to build this piece? It's not escape. Uh-oh. Did I just build it under the ground. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> Shit. I think I just built it underground. Oh, man. All right. Well, here. Let's... How do I pick this piece back up? Do I have to have the hammer in my hand? Drop item. Durability. Can't I... Can't you pick up pieces... Like hold X to pick up, or can you not do that? I'm starting to... Okay, hold X to pick up. That works on the crafting station, but can we not do that with constructed items? Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, well, here. We lost that one piece no matter what. So what I want to do is let's build another one of these pieces. And I want it to go here so that we can do this okay now let's build another one okay let's change it to the peak and then now will it rotate what the hell all right do i Do I just break it to pick it up? Do I hold R on it? Do I hold E on it? There's no way for me to, to pick this back up. So I was, I was wondering if I could set it and then, you know, rotate it like the crafting stations. Is this going to destroy it or am I going to get it back whole? I think it destroyed it, and I didn't even get any wood back. What kind of shenanigans are going on here, man? Okay. Let's try this one more time. Okay. Now, we want this variant. Now it's working. Why didn't that work before? I don't understand. 
I'm so confused. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, we got it done. Why it was so janked out, though, I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. I'm holding E on this. I'm holding R on this. F, D. Well, that just moves me. <laughs> uh, do we have to have our hammer in hand and then hold down E? Or R? No, it doesn't. It's not giving me any kind of indication on how I can pick this up. So I guess we can't pick pieces up or I'm missing something. Um, because, you know, I don't actually want this to be here. Or do I? Do I want this to be here? Oh, not really. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to cut it then. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode where we'll probably go do some hunting and... Maybe do some mining, too. We'll see how things go. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.